Hi, welcome to the second part of my tutorial on using a generic MIDI controller with Virtual DJ. I'm doing this with a UC33, which is this guy right here. Uh, you may have a different one. Uh, if you have this one, I also have a brief tutorial on how to set up the MIDI controllers to transmit simple messages that something like Virtual DJ would use. So today we're going to get the uh, deck levels, left deck, right deck, deck select button for switching between the decks and the transport controls here stop play and pitch bend this is enough to get basic mixing done while still using the mouse a little bit uh, it's enough to get started and then we'll do another tutorial where I add some effects and some filters and things using some of these other knobs and uh, also pads and things here but that'll be in the next part so today we're going to keep it simple back to virtual DJ so we go into here go to our controllers and here we have tutorial map I made a name for it we're gonna save it and I'm going to hit the zero on the keypad which is going to be our deck selector I already have this one in now if we click it here you notice when I click the button it shows up here on the list click it and it's already assigned to deck active select that means it switches to the opposite deck of where you are right now so that one's pretty simple so now we're going to do the left side level controls so notice as I move it we get a couple of things here we're going to use it as a slider and this is going to be deck left level very simple this means the action we're doing is going to be used for the left deck uh, this means you can have mm, the four deck or six deck mode used this way also whatever whatever's on the left side of the crossfader basically alright so now we're going to do the right side level which is the eighth fader over right before the master volume notice it pops up there that's going to be deck right level very simple so once once again if you're not going to do any more definitions before you save click over here don't know why they did it that way but they did save it exit out now notice these ghost controls you see in the center that's because the MIDI numbers have not caught up to where the interface is yet this is to keep you from instantly blaring out a song or something like that until you match up now we get the faders up now we can drag down the actual levels very handy very simple uh, deck select which is the zero on the keypad you notice now switches left and right alright so now back to our illustration we're going to get these four keys in right here stop play pitch bend down pitch bend up the reason I went with stop and play is well one they match the controller and two we're going to have cue points usable up on these buttons up here later on so I'm not really worried about cue points right now all right so let's see how to do that now to do our transport controls very simple we only have to do one set of transport tr controls because they will work on whichever deck is highlighted like right here so we hit the stop button select it we have deck default stop very easy most of the verbs are named after pretty much what you think they are which makes them fairly nice so now we hit the play button select it deck default play very easy now we hit the pitch bend uh, slow button or left button deck default pitch now notice we can complete some of these will auto complete or you can also pick them from down here and we're going to do minus eight percent now there's other ways to do pitch bend but I'm not going to worry about all that right now I like mine to be steady I don't like the kind that ramps up or surprises you I like just nice simple 
pitch bend, hit it, it does it more than what we need for this tutorial. Okay, so now the next button we're going to click, which is button 3, and this will be deck default pitch bend plus 8%. Click over here. We're not going to do any more right now. Let's save this. Exit. So now I can start this track. You won't be able to hear it very well. I don't have multi-recording set up right now for this computer. So, but you sh you can see it graphically at least. So we're on track A or the left deck. And uh, take the volume fader down. Hit play. And we bring the sound up. Now we can speed it up. You can kind of see graphically that it's speeding up, slowing down. And now it's slowing down 8%, which is also kind of nice. So stop. And I also like the stop button because the stop button cycles through cue points. So that makes it doubly useful once you've already stopped. So now if we hit deck select, which is zero on the keypad. Now we're on the right deck. Hit play speed up, slow down, and stop. So that works just as expected, and that's uh, that's pretty good. So now let's move on to right, okay, so we're, we're going to add in the equalizers for the left channel and the right channel, and that's low, mid, and high for the left and then low, mid, high for the right. And then we'll actually have a working basic control system. So let's go through that right now. So we have the uh, leftmost knob. I'm oh, sorry, that was the slider. So here we go. Slider 28 on my, on my mapping is the leftmost bottom knob. Select it. And this will be deck, left, EQ, low. Now before we go any further we're going to, I'm going to show you a little issue with this and and a more advanced script that gets around that issue. So save it and let's exit out. Now watch now you'll see you'll see I'm controlling the low EQ. Very cool. Can now do uh, compared to doing it with a mouse this is wonderful. Only problem is you can never quite get it to go off and probably it's not really doing anything when it looks like this but visually it bothers me so what we're going to do is with a little bit of uh, scripting that I learned from le reading lots of pages and from Echo Papa whose videos you should definitely check out Echo Papa on YouTube very informative virtual DJ guy so how do we fix this well I came up with a little script after getting lots of help online and I'll show you that right now so what we're going to do is we're going to add a double query. That means we're going to ask the interface two questions. And if both of those questions are true, then we're going to set that equalizer exactly to, zero, or exactly to the middle. And I'll show you how we do that now. So after here, we have an and sign. That means we're going to do an additional command or set of commands. And we're going to check the param. param bigger 48 percent now what they're saying is, okay is the parameter bigger than 48 percent okay now we're going to do param this is really funny how easy this is and how silly it is but smaller 52 percent question mark so that's a double query meaning both of those questions are going to be asked and if both of those questions are true, then EQ low 50%. Since this is a 7-bit controller, the equalizer, I mean the uh, knob, never actually gets to exactly 50%. It's always a little higher or a little bit lower. So if we're at 49 or 51, I want that equalizer to shut itself off so that visually it disappears and that way it doesn't bug my uh, OC, my uh, inner OCD. 
if you want to do this really officially, the actual syntax for this is nothing, nothing. Okay, what this means is, you don't actually have to do this, but for completeness I'm going to put it on there. Since we don't have any more commands after this, we don't. We can just do this. We can leave off the nothing, nothing, but for completeness sake. So, if both of these things are true, right, EQ low, set it to exactly 50%. If only the first one is true, but not the second one, don't do anything because this will already have done it. And if neither of them are true, we also want to do nothing because this has already happened. And at the very end of this whole thing, it spits out exactly what we need. So, click over here to make sure it accepts it. Let's save it, and now I'll show it to you. So now, we have EQ low, but if we bring it to the middle, it disappears, and it actually shuts off, which I kind of like. It just, I think on an actual piece of hardware that's called a detent, or detent or something. Okay, so now, we have one, we can make more, very easily, and I'll show you a nice trick that the editor lets you do here. So we copy the, let's copy this one first. Copy. Now we do the second knob up, which is slider 36. Okay, click in here. Control V to paste, you know, all that stuff. Now, the two things we need to change is here where it says EQ low, and here where it says EQ low, and the editor has a nice thing here. If we click in the middle of this, all we have to do is come down here and click EQ mid, and it changes. Then we can come here, click EQ mid, and it changes. Save it. Okay, now we do the top knob on the left hand side, which is slider 44. Click it. Paste. Now same thing. Click in the middle of this verb. Change to EQ high. Click in here. Change the EQ high. Okay, so now we go to the right side of the deck. So, just to show, we'll be going over here, these three knobs, starting with this one right here. So, we turn that knob and pick slider 35, which now has nothing. We're going to paste in the one from the other side. Paste it in and just change left to right. Boom. Now we have the EQ on the right. Select the whole thing. Copy. You can do it with the mouse, too, if you like. Copy. Uh, okay, now we do the middle right knob, which is slider 43. Click there. Paste it. And same thing before. We change EQ to mid. EQ to mid. Okay. Now we select the top knob, which is slider 51. Click it. Paste in. EQ high. EQ high. Be careful with these EQ kill highs, because it'll give you a headache you won't be if you uh, do that by accident and don't realize you did it. So let's save this real quick and see if everything works. So now, if we watch the EQs, now we have middle. You'll notice the ghost thing uh, until the fader catches up with the system. Highs. Okay, there we go. We have a full EQ section. We have levels. We have deck selection on the keypad. Zero key. We have the stop key, the play key, pitch up, or pitch bend rather. Pitch bend slow, this is to help your beat matching. Sync does a pretty good job, but sometimes you need to move the beats around a little bit to get it to sound right. And stop. And that's it, that's the end of this tutorial. Now we have a basic working mixing section. You can load tracks in with the mouse and uh, control your equalizers and stuff with the MIDI controller. 
Uh, okay, so I'm going to close this out, and the next section, when we come back, we're going to come back to this guy, and we're going to add in some filters. We're going to add in a loop roll effect, a couple of other effects, and I'm not really sure yet. I can't use every knob on this thing because they're kind of small for my hands. But, uh, I mean, the possibilities are endless. You can do all kinds of stuff. We're also going to get action pads over here and a little itty-bitty looping section right in here. So, uh, you know, join me again for that, and uh, we'll see you all then. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful to you all, and uh, enjoy your mixing. See you guys.